as India gets excited about the launch of 5G or fifth generation mobile networks in India, there remains a lot of questions about what it means for the end customer. First, how fast can 5G go? Now, the highlight feature of 5G remains higher speeds with download speeds going all the way to 10 GB per second or more. Now, this is hundreds of times faster than the current average download speed in for, uh, for 4G users in India, which hovers around 21 Mbps according to Telecom Regulatory Authority of India. Now, this means that you can download, say, a two-hour movie on your phone in one to two minutes versus 15 to 20 minutes that it takes about right now. What new use cases can you expect from 5G? Well, the higher speeds also come with the benefit of lower latency. What is lower latency? It is the time it takes to send a signal from one computer to another and getting a response back. The lower latency provided by 5G networks is critical to enabling new use cases like live video broadcasts in 4K quality, better and higher quality video calling, the ability to hold real-time multimedia interactions with large groups, the lower latency is also key to use cases like streaming content and even the real video games where reducing the amount of lag between input and response is key. Now, will 5G impact industries? Yes, the 5G rollout is also expected to bring advancements to remote data monitoring and telemedicine. The lower latency in particular will be key to enabling remote surgeries and real-time monitoring of remote sensing stations. Additionally, the higher speeds will be key to the advancement of augmented reality applications like wearable smart glasses. Now, smart glasses that you wear now will now be able to project real-time information of subjects, objects, help engineers perform calculations based on visual inputs and even assist in industries like logistics. Will 5G reduce network congestion? Yes. The biggest benefit for end consumers will be better network in management. The higher speed network is more efficient by nature and operates in three different bands. A uh, 100 megahertz low band, 2.3 gigahertz mid band and the high band. Now the mid band frequencies offer the best balance of coverage and speeds which should free up more spectrum for the users. You know this will ensure that users have a reliable network connection even in larger crowds like stadiums. Most smartphones in India, you know, in the bracket of 15,000 above category over the last year, two years are already compatible with 5G networks, though exact band support can, be, uh, can vary depending on the manufacturer. Regardless, the advent of 5G is expected to introduce even more affordable 5G compatible smartphones. Once 5G rolls out begin, for most users, the immediately apparent benefits will be speed and better connectivity but the next generation network is shaping up as the backbone of the future of computing and the real advantages will unfold over the next few years.